Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War Simulation. We've done it with fast food. We've done it with sub chains. We've done it with pizza chains. Now let's take these national sit-down restaurant chains and put them on the map. These are located based on where they are founded, but we had a little bit of issue, okay? Because check this out. Apparently Georgia and Florida are just the state's to breed national restaurant chains, all right? Longhorns, Huddle House, Hooters, Applebee's, Moe's, Waffle House, Sunny's, Olive Garden, Red Lobster, uh, Bonefish Grill, Outback. They are all founded in Georgia or Florida. So their placements aren't as super accurate, okay? Not only that, but some of these are larger chains that would start with more area, but because the competition and because the amount of people within the same spot are so uh, prominent, they start out with actually less area, okay? Versus like TGI Fridays that has uh, almost no one to share room with or Chili's out in Texas with Twin Peaks and on the border just neighbors, okay? But we got a lot of restaurants representing, 25 to be exact. We got some heavy hitters like IHOP, Texas Roadhouse, Cracker Barrel, all right? And we got some smaller ones like Bob Evans, Huddle House, Carabas. But either way, this is going to be interesting. Look at the map. Tell me what is your favorite restaurant you like to go eat at? Which one do you despise? Who are you rooting for? And who do you think will win? I think whoever dukes it out east of the Mississippi and comes out on top will go against one of these West Coast ones. All right, I think Red Robin has a very strong chance of getting big early. Same with Chili's, to be honest. They're already pretty big, um, but it's going to be very competitive out here in the East Coast. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like Chili's. I like Waffle House, Cracker Barrel, Texas. I like all of these, actually. I mean, let's be honest here. We'll see who ends up on top let's get this going shall we all right already the racing for some land all right who will be the first fighting that will be applebee's and moe's the first ones battling tgi fridays and buffalo wild wings also going at it out back trying to push bonefish grill out of miami cheesecake factory and ihop duking it out who will be the first one eliminated? Who will it be? All right, we have we have IHOP being the first one taken out. That's actually very surprising. Cheesecake Factory just able to push them uh, very quickly and take advantage of what's going on. Uh, let's speed this up. Bob Evans actually flooding into Buffalo Wild Wings, taking them out. That's impressive. So TGI Fridays, Texas Roadhouse, going to get a lot of that as well. Uh, we have Olive Garden swooping in and taking out the Red Lobster. Meanwhile, big loss. Chili's conquered by On the Border who pushed out west. That's going to be huge. That's going to change the dynamics of this. Denny's, Texas Roadhouse, On the Border, Carabas, they're all going to get pretty big here. Twin Peaks was actually cut off from having a piece of that pie. All right, Moe's still trying to move down and take out Applebee's, but it's just not happening. Not happening. Hooters trying to cross the Mississippi and go on the border. Meanwhile, Sunny's just taken out by Olive Garden. So Olive Garden uh, has a couple deaths to their name. Huddle House expanding. They're cutting out a chunk of Alabama and Georgia, but it's going to be Applebee's that's taken out by Waffle House and not Moe's. So Applebee's and Chili's are gone. A lot of people uh, see them in a similar light. Meanwhile, on the border taken out by Hooters, which was able to cross the Mississippi, they had a they had a plan and they executed it well. All right. So we got Hooters and Twin Peaks, similar establishments around that uh, Mississippi Delta, Wrecking House. Meanwhile, Golden Crow and Longhorns duking it out. I don't know what the beef is there. All right, all you can eat steak at Golden Corral, but your steak's shit. Maybe that's what Longhorns is saying. Meanwhile, Hooters now expanding eastward, trying to take the panhandle of former Florida, pushing back Olive Garden. We have 18 restaurant chains left. Huddle House was just conquered by Cracker Barrel, so now um, that helps out Waffle House. They're the only uh, similar establishment like that except for maybe Denny's. Meanwhile, Hooters taken out by Olive Garden and Twin Peaks taken out by Carabas. So the um, 
the promiscuous restaurant brands are out of here now. We have 14 restaurant chains left. Let's just take a look at the statistics real quick, see what's going on. We have Texas Roadhouse being the big dog by area, followed by Denny's, okay, and then Red Robin, but not too shocking uh, based on my prediction. Let's talk about economy. Texas Roadhouse, also the richest, followed by Denny's. Longhorns, not super big, but they got some money. Same with Golden Crow, but they are golden after all. All right, I got to stop with these puns and jokes. Uh, now Olive Garden pulling a different maneuver moving up georgia taking out longhorns looks like they're also going to take out waffle house in the same campaign oh man waffle house is out that's saddening um as i said though that that southeastern competition is going to be huge it's going to be hard for someone to come out on top all right that was like 12 different restaurants all in georgia and florida alone all right what's going to happen next Let's speed this up. Bob Evans trying to push into TGI Fridays. They haven't been super successful. Golden Corral and Moe's going at each other. Caraba's kind of moving along uh, the south coast, trying to take on Olive Garden. Meanwhile, Denny's struggling against Texas Roadhouse. Really struggling. Texas Roadhouse is pushing everyone out west. Meanwhile, Cracker Barrel moving into Moe's. All right. Went down through Appalachia, now going down the Savannah River. Looks like TGI Fridays may take out Golden Corral. Um, they will. Olive Garden trying to put Bonefish Grill out of Florida. All right, Bonefish Grill has just been residing in the Keys in Miami, having a good time, not really trying to mess with anyone. But Olive Garden, sick and tired of it. They want all of Florida. Okay. Meanwhile, TGI Fridays going down the East Coast. They're doing a 13 colony type campaign over here pushing into south carolina meanwhile we have denny's now fighting back against texas roadhouse trying to reclaim some of the territory they lost prior all right let's speed this up a little bit no bob evans what a move moved out west and took out texas roadhouse meanwhile olive garden they picked they picked the wrong bone with bonefish grill and bonefish grill tore them a new one so olive garden the largest by revenue is out. Bonefish Grill has most of the control of Florida now, pushing against Moe's. Now Bonefish Grill's pissed off, right? Texas Roadhouse following, that changes the dynamics of things quite a bit. Bob Evans feeling pretty good about themselves. They're pushing against TGI Fridays now, looking to finish what they couldn't earlier. Cracker Barrel had a good run, but um, Moe's able to take them out. Bonefish Grill... Trying to take advantage of that distraction, but Moe's now a little bit stronger with their newfound resources. Going to push Bonefish Grill all the way back to their headquarters in Miami. Alright, and it looks like they may take them out all the way this time. Yep, Bonefish Grill is no more. Meanwhile, Red Robin. Alright, pushing east. Pushing east hard. Alright, also pushing southwest. Trying to take out the Cheesecake Factory. Carabas being double teamed by Moe's and Denny's. That's an interesting ally going against Carabas. Alright, the only other Italian place. So we have six restaurant chains left. Bob Evans, Moe's, Carabas, Denny's, Red Robin, and Cheesecake Factory. Not exactly who I would put my money on if this happened in real life. But here we are. Who will end up on top? Ooh, Red Robin. They had a scare. They had a scare. Actually, they ran out of economy, so... Oh, man. Cheesecake Factory taking advantage of that. Red Robin desperately trying to refuel their economy. Now Cheesecake Factory getting close to taking out Denny's. Bob Evans uh, just destroyed Moe's. So Carrabba's going to get some of that Louisiana... Trying to race to the tip of Florida. It's not going to happen now. Bob Evans. Ooh, looking kind of big and scary. Man, oh man. Carabas now fell. So now we only have Bob Evans, Denny's, Red Robin, and Cheesecake Factory. I'm rooting for Denny's, but their economy just collapsed. So uh, not rooting for them for long. Looks like Red Robin's going to be taken out too. So a couple ugly colors going against each other. Bob Evans knocking on the doorstep of the Rocky Mountains. Oh man, Cheesecake Factory ran out of economy. They may fall any second year. 
Oh, man. Imagine Bob Evans Restaurants being the sole, sole survivor, sole winner of America. I've actually never been to Bob Evans, so I can't say anything negative about it. Other than it just seems like uh, not an exciting underdog story. Let's say that. I've had Cheesecake Factory a, a few times. Overpriced, but big menu. Pretty good cheesecake, pretty good food. But no longer is Cheesecake Factory. Bob Evans is the winner. So any Bob e diehard Bob Evans fans, definitely put in the comments. Let your voice be heard. Uh, I imagine there's few and far between uh, for someone's favorite restaurant being Bob Evans. But as I said, I've never been there, so I'm just talking shit. All right, so uh, what did y'all think about this? Hit a like if you liked it. Let's run it up one more time on super speed. Just see if we get a different uh, scenario. I don't want to do an in-depth one again, but I do want to see how things differ. All right, the final two first was Bob Evans and Cheesecake Factory. Let's see what happens this time around because, you know, let's... I, I don't care. Let's just see what happens. All right. The big race, of course. Who will be the first to fall? Who will it be? Forgot who it was last time, but it's Carabas this time, who actually had a decent run for simulation. Twin Peaks next, conquered by Chili's. Chili's having a better start this time around. Um, who's going to be the first to fall in Florida or Georgia? Applebee's and Outback uh, both fall. Ooh, ooh, we had a lot. Cracker Barrel, Golden Crow, Red Lobster, all fall. Waffle House has most of South Georgia and some of the Florida Panhandle, so that'll be good for them. Uh, but it looks like Moe's is going to maybe take them out. Wow, that's that's disappointing. Poor Waffle House. Honestly, Waffle House would probably be the, the choice I would pick if this happened in real life. All right, Waffle House fighters are ruthless. I mean, workers. They'll, they'll freaking beat you with a spatula, put your head in the fryer, okay? The people that go to Waffle House definitely prepared for war. Um, but, you know, just this this simulation, you know, it's not the most accurate, of course. So, um, let's see what happens. Hooters taken out by Huddle House. Maybe it'll be Huddle House that makes a big splash. Okay, we have 12 left. Buffalo Wild Wings uh, going to be the next to fall. All right, who's different here? On the borders, looking pretty big. This is different. Texas Roadhouse, Red Robin, IHOP was the first to fall, I think, last time. And they're actually looking kind of big because they were able to take out Cheesecake Factory. So the defending, or one of the defending uh, finalists, not here. Bob Evans kind of just surviving in the middle of everything. Uh, not as aggressive. They don't really have the opportunity to be as aggressive as they were first round. We'll see how that affects them. Huddle House, uh, not doing too hot anymore. They're starting to lose some of their territory. Sunny's has most of Florida, so that's different. Um, Sunny's got out fairly early last simulation. Uh, Bob Evans, defending champ, taken out. Uh, their, their bid to be conservative this time around didn't help them out, but they, they made it top half of the mark. Meanwhile, Red Robin going to take out IHOP, it looks like. Uh, Huddle House also taken out. Sonny's going to be invaded by On the Border, who jumped to Florida. TGI Friday's taken out by Texas Roadhouse. Maybe it'll be Texas Roadhouse's time to shine. Moe's suffocated by On the Border. They're gone. Longhorn's Texas Roadhouse. A couple of steakhouses doing well. The only Hispanic establishment on On the Border's doing decent. Um, Denny's still alive somehow. And Red Robin's over here. Uh, Texas Roadhouse collapsed. Longhorn's going to take most of the advantage and then push deep into on the border. But they started running low on economy. We'll see how that affects them. You have your final four now. Um, Red Robin and Denny's, man. That, they both made a deep run last time. That's been the constant thing here. Denny's somehow bullshitting their way, surviving deep into the game. Um, now Red Robin's turned their sights on them. Looks like on the border is going to collapse. So, ooh, Longhorns. All right. Georgia-based Longhorns versus Red Robin. How will this go? Usually in these simulations, what I've noticed is West Coast tends to have an advantage over East Coast when it comes to this kind of one-on-one finale. Um, at least that's been the slight trend that I've seen over these videos 
Will Longhorns be able to survive? It doesn't look like it. It could be Red Robin. Yum. They got good burgers. I like Longhorns too. Although, out of all my steakhouses, I think Longhorns is probably... I don't know, maybe it's second. Texas Roadhouse is probably my favorite. Longhorns, then maybe Outback, but it's close between Outback and Longhorn. Um, Red Robin's a really good burger joint. They got good shakes, and they are the winner this time around. So first it was Bob Evans, then it was Red Robin. Who is Red Robin fan? Put, put in the comments, who did you want to see win? Do you want to see me run this up again? If you want to see me run this up, Again, the specific simulation, you gotta like the hell out of this video and comment. So, all right, because I got so many other different ones lined up. So, the ones you really enjoy and want to see me run up again, you gotta let me know. Without further ado, again, hit me with that like button if you like this video. If you want to see more simulations, outdoor videos, food reviews, join the Southern Woods community and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.